the digital avatar is really at the center of everything. Doob's proprietary technology really is the 3D scanning and the data processing conversion into that 3D digital file, the 3D digital avatar. And from that, you can do a host of things. So what happens when someone goes into a store? What's the experience like? They talk to a scanning technician and they walk them through the whole process. You take a step into our 3D scanning system. We call it the duplicator. It's 54 cameras facing in all directions, um, getting the pose that you, you want to be captured in. Quick countdown, three, two, one, and you've captured the scan. You check out the pictures. If you're happy with the pictures, you're essentially good to go. We'll take that, convert it into a 3D file, and start 3D So printing. it's like an instant photo. You could jump up in the air, you could... You could... Exactly. Three D printing is often called additive manufacturing, and that means that instead of cutting away material, you build something up piece by piece. Because of that, there isn't any waste. So what you're about to see is a bed of powder, and you'll see the figures come out of the bed of powder, and the remaining powder will get vacuumed away and put back into the system to be used for the next print. There's two steps to making a 3D printed figure in this process. The first step is when the colored inks are laid down, they hold the powder together, but it's not completely fused yet. The second step is when the piece is dipped. So the powder is opaque and white, and it's only loosely bound together. Once something is dipped, the powder becomes clear. The color on each part pops, and the solution that it's dipped in actually strengthens the bond and creates the finished product. We're gonna open up our dube now. The moment I've been waiting for. What they, it's a physical selfie. What do they call it, the, the 3D selfie? Wow. <laughs> okay, that's me. And even the label on the, uh, look at that label on the bag. Right there. Once I'm scanned, what kinds of things can be done with me, to me? In the short term, there's little things like you can take that digital scan and you can create a, another type of product, like an ornament out of it with, with you in it, or you could use it in a fitness app and see how your body's changing over, over time, or be yourself in a video game. But long term, it becomes sort of the, the other way around of mass customization where other partners in different industries are customizing their offerings towards your digital avatar, towards your specific body and requirements. So rather than trying on clothes with your digital avatar, they're actually making clothes for your measurements. Shoes are going to be made to the contours of your foot. Um, household products, coffee mugs can fit your hand. Chairs can uh, be shaped to your body. Where do you see, that in like, in, let's say two years from now, like how we're going to have more stores? More dupe stores. We're going to have um, more scanners, different types of specialized scanners. We're going to have scanners in partner locations mm -hmm. so that our technology actually ties directly to industry partners and partners in other different segments that can make it more useful for the everyday consumer. Mm -hmm.